brave hearts only, no cowards. The Lord gave me this message. He said to me, only brave hearts will enter into the kingdom of God, no cowards. So if you are coward, don't think, don't imagine that you will enter to the kingdom of God. You must repent, my friend, and come to Jesus. In Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, it begins with the first, but the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So it begins the verse which, but the cowardly. So the coward, he makes any kind of sin. If you are coward, you are unbeliever. You, are, you make abominable. You make, you kill. You make sexually immoral, sorcerer, idolaters. You like money and all liars and you lie also. So because you are coward, you must repent, my friend. You must come back to Jesus. Because your end is the second death, is the lake of fire. I want to read from Numbers chapter 13, verse 26 to 30. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregations and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit. Nevertheless, the, pe the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Malekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up and once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. So these spies, most of them, they made afraid people. They were afraid from these Amalekites. They are very strong. The cities are fortified and very large because they are cowards. But Caleb and Joshua, they spoke to the people. They said, we, we come up and once and take possession, for we are able to overcome it. But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, who were among the, those who had spied out of, of the land, tore their clothes, and they spoke to all the congregation of the church of Israel, saying, The land was passed through the spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from, the, from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. If you are afraid, my, my friend, you are a coward. And also, so the Lord's anger was arose on that day, and he swore on oath, saying, Surely none of the men who came up from Egypt from twenty years old and above shall see the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because they not wholly followed me, except Caleb, the son of Jephine, and Kenizit, and Joshua, the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. If you are a coward, you can't follow Jesus. You must have brave hearts because who want to follow Jesus? He must deny himself. He must take his cross and follow Jesus. He must be brave heart because he must leave everything. He must resist against sin till blood. In Judge chapter 7, 
verse 3 to 7. Now therefore proclaim in the hearing of people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And 22,000 of people returned, and 10,000 remained, and the number of those who left, putting their hand to their, to their mouth, was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the 300 men who left, I will save you, and deliver the Midianites into your, into your hand. Let all the other people go, every man to this place. The Lord, he doesn't need the cowards. He only wants the brave hearts. He only wants warriors. Because Jesus, he was a warrior. He challenged all, this, all Satan and his kingdom. He broke them. He overcame on them, on his cross. So the Lord, all people, is fearful. They, they came back. And they afraid, let him turn and depart once from Mount Gilad. We know that it was only left 300 men and the Lord gave, him, gave them the victory. So it's not with the, the, says the Lord, it's not with might or power, but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. So no one coward will enter the kingdom of God. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. If you are ashamed to speak about Jesus, because if you speak about him in your work, so people they won't buy your merchandise, because you love money, so you are a coward, you are a liar. They put two times the gun on my head, because I was speaking in Jesus. I wasn't afraid. I continued preaching everywhere. So if you are ashamed about Jesus, and you have any, have nothing, no one resisting you. So you are a coward, my friend. Come to Jesus, repent. Because only who trust in him will renew their force. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yet in all these things, you are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other create, created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You can say it this in your life. If you can say it this, you are a coward. So come to Jesus. He will give you a brave heart. Come on, his, come on your knees. In your, in your room, close your door. Say to the Lord, I am coward, Lord. Give me your strength. Renew my force. You must give me a brave heart so I can enter your kingdom and I will do your will so I can be rewarded in heaven. So God bless you.